Planet Coaster 2 is coming out this fall and we are getting ever so close to its release now. And as they've been doing for the past few months, Frontier were doing a live stream today of a deep dive into Planet Coaster 2. And they covered on stream a lot of aspects of the game that we've been waiting to see. And not only were they showing us, but they were telling us about things that we're going to see in the future that we have been waiting for confirmation for for ages and I'm talking about switch tracks and drop tracks but we'll get onto that later. We're going to go through this entire deep dive. I'm literally sat down for it. I'm usually stood up. That's when you know it's serious and we're going to analyze it all and see what's coming to the new Planet Coaster sequel. So if you do go on to enjoy this video and you want to see more in the future about Planet Coaster 2, especially when it comes out, then please be sure to subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 90,000 subscribers now, which is insane. So if you want to help towards that goal, it'd be greatly appreciated. So if you didn't know, Planet Coaster 2 has been having a few different sort of teaser announcements and then we've seen these deep dive videos. And more recently before that, they actually hosted a booth at Gamescom. I had to make sure I got the com, not con, because I thought it was a convention, but it's, it's not, I'm stupid. But at their booth, you could go up to a screen and play Planet Coaster 2 on one of the computers. And many people noticed many different things, such as turntables being on uh, water coasters and log flumes, a load of different coaster builder mechanics and stuff, but there's a few more that I missed out in my previous video, and I'm going to quickly go through them now. Someone has noticed that the guest entrances where they enter the park, uh, you can choose a ferry or what looks like a yacht for them to introduce themselves to the park. I'm not actually too sure on many parks that you can enter in via ferry, so... Uh, it's pretty cool. There are plain bases for animatronics, so we'll be able to attach scenery to it and make it move around. I'm going to put in a model of Buzz Lightyear and just have him move back and forth at about 150 miles an hour. When you're in career mode or some sort of mode, you can buy land to expand your theme park. And they also showed us a bit of the slide building more in depth in a video by IGN. But we ain't going to watch that because the deep dive had enough of it. Not as in it was annoyed by it, but it you get what I mean. There is so much in this deep dive and we're going to have a look at it right now. So the deep dive began as it always does at the 6 p.m. time uh, and then there's a five minute countdown. So technically it's a 6.05 deep dive. That wasn't meant to rhyme, but it sounded kind of cool. The first segment was all about a different game called Elite Dangerous. So uh, as much as people might be interested in that, I've never played it in my life. So fair enough, but we're going to move past it. They then spoke a bit about a giveaway and then Planet Coaster 2. It's time. And this episode was called Boundless Creativity because there ain't no bounds in the creativeness in this game. They load up into a very sand prominent uh, park Odd choice. And from the entrance, they start showing the new path tool in all its glory. And we've covered this before, but not only is the classic path tool in the game, which uh, I don't think a lot of people are going to use considering it was so annoying. They've now got a line tool where you literally just drag out a line and it makes a path. A draw tool, which is going to be insane. The fact you can just draw down paths. I can draw a path the same as this circle. Big Dipper Coaster. There's a stamp builder where you just stamp down pathing pieces and that's how that works. A rounding tool to round off the edges of certain pathways. A path brush to change the colour and texture because the amount of times I've put the wrong texture in on a pathway and I just have to go around clicking it. What's the point? That brush is going to be useful and so is the edit tool. That'll be very useful too. But yeah, the line builder literally has so many different options on it. You can turn it into a curved line, a straight line, or you can even do all the terrain styles, the connections, line width, fixed length, bloody hell. There's so much more than there was before. And it is a really nice pathing tool. But we're here for the pools and the roller coasters. I am a floor expert and a rock expert though. And by using the pool tools, you can create your very own pools. You wouldn't have guessed it. And this has a similar feature where you can draw it out, you can make lines, you can stamp it down, round it out, brush over it. And what are you going to brush a pool over with? Here's some leaves. But you can do all the same things you did to the pathways, but make them into pool spaces. Guests will have to purchase a pool pass to actually get in the cool club. And for guests to actually enter the pools that you build. And of course, part of Planet Coaster 2 and the water park update is building the water slides slash flumes as they make us very well know they call them and pretty much you place down a small platform sometimes they'll be bigger you choose where you want the slide to exit that platform and then you sort of just build it the way you want it with the special features such as the bowl or even a funnel or whatever else you fancy and without mention even though they know they smashed it with this the auto generated supports 
on that flume ride. It looks incredible. One thing that was very exciting that they then moved on to was the brand new display sequencer tool. If you remember the display sequences in Planet Coaster 1, trying to time things up with each other was the worst. You'd have to time everything correctly by seconds and not with a timeline like you can do with Planet Coaster 2 now. Just look how lovely that looks and how my eyes aren't straining just looking at it. That is literally some of the best news and I completely forgot that we needed that. I'm so glad it's in this game. Around that new display sequencer of fish roar and splash water, they then show us an amazing new feature, especially for people that don't really want to go around placing one tree at a time. That being the scenery brush, and they have actually put in a brand new feature that has loads of different presets, and you can choose whether you want tropical trees or maybe even just rocks. Like I said, I'm a rock expert, so I know what I'm doing here. And you literally take a brush, Put the size up or down to however large you want to cover and just brush down on the ground and it creates so much foliage and scenery. That is going to be so useful to a lot of people, including myself. But then, finally, in a deep dive, they've built a flume, they've built a pool, some facilities, some foliage, animatronics. What's missing in a game called Planet Coaster 2? A roller coaster. And genuinely, the chat went crazy as soon as they said they were going to build one. And they pan over to a brand new area of their park, and you can see they bring up the blueprint. There are so many different coasters down there. But some of them do look really cool, as do some of the names in this brand new menu. We had only a few coasters on this menu before, but now we have an entire list. There's an F&N Thriller Industries Antique Water Coaster. No idea. A Vector Boomerang, I assume that's Vekoma. FNF International, which is probably SNS, a Crazy Mouse Coaster. A Dive Coaster, Flawless Coaster, which we knew, and a Giant Inverted Boomerang. The Impulsion, an Inverted Two Seater, which is Giovanola. What the hell? The Inverted Four Seater being BM. You've got another BM Flying Coaster, the Junior Coaster, a Launched Beyond Vertical. Ultron Nibera, a Mac launch LSM, uh, a launched pneumatic by SNS. That's new. Limitless, whatever that is, uh, looping by Vekoma, and a Dart Kinetics looping as well. There's so many new ones, and I'm so excited to actually go into this game and find out what they all are. So he starts building an Aerodynamics looping coaster, I think. Yeah, Aerodynamics one, that is. And this is where the confirmation everyone has been asking for verbally or in the flesh comes about in this live stream because uh, if you listen to their little conversation here they are sort of talking about the special elements you can add to certain coasters so in this one you can add loops and sort of rolls um listen to what they say about other coasters in the game so depending on the coaster you'll have different special pieces available for you so this one loops and rolls some of them some other new coasters have special pieces such as switch tracks and drop tracks switch tracks and drop tracks okay. which are very exciting they are that explosion is exactly what happened to the chat as soon as they said that. But yes, as much as drop tracks were confirmed a little while ago by Frontier, they said, oh, we're going to have a drop track coaster in the game. A lot of people didn't believe it, and a lot of people were very, very sceptical. But now we have them talking about special elements on certain new roller coasters, those being switch tracks and drop tracks. And that is honestly amazing to hear from them on this deep dive. I think if you spoke to an enthusiast who plays this game a lot, Planet Coaster 1, uh, and asked them what they'd want in Planet Coaster 2, their first answer is probably drop tracks and switch tracks. So as much as we haven't seen it in game yet, to hear that it's happening, oh, it's beautiful. I feel like the amount of times the word switch track has been said on this channel in relation to Planet Coaster, I had to make this video, even if it was just that 10 second clip of him saying, yeah, they're coming by the way. I had to be here and live it in the moment. But overall, the game is looking amazing. What are your thoughts on Planet Coaster 2 so far? Leave your thoughts down below and make sure to subscribe.